Hello there, everybody. This is Pinstripe Paragon, and welcome back to Let's Play Spyro Year of the Dragon. Last time we took care of the homeworld here in uh, Evening Lake, and in this episode, we're going to be heading to Benley's Outpost. Oh my gosh. And if you couldn't tell, um, the like regular track of this level. I mean, not this old, but uh, Evening Lake is supposed to be the freaking music to the first home world I hate. I will gladly help you on your quest, Spyro, but first I must attend to my young sibling. I'm afraid he may have gotten himself into trouble during my absence. Alright, that's fine, Bentley, I understand. Let's just help him out today, I guess. So, this is Bentley's outpost. Now, Bentley is a quite an interesting character. Um... He actually has a couple of different move sets. Well, not move sets, but moves. Uh, this, which is by using square, uh, it's it, you may not see it that useful, but trust me, it is. Uh, circles, he just does this. Triangle and you know, jumping is all similar. Hey, bro, it'd be really cool if you smash that boulder. A swift smack should do the trick. Okay. Unfortunately, he can't jump very high. That's one of the few things that I don't like about Benley, but trust me, the character overall is awesome, so just deal with it. So, but the one good thing about Benley is he can destroy these, those things, so, oh, <laughs> oh my god, I couldn't tell if I hit him first, or if he hit me first, or if we just, if I just killed him by doing a chest bump or something, I don't know, that was odd. Um, so we can't get up there quite yet, but there's still quite a number of gems to collect, which I'm just... Oh my god. This this level is really nostalgic, especially because of the music. If you use your spin move to deflect the snowball into the gong, I bet we can make the roof cave in. Probably. So this is where um, the square button can really comes in handy. Luckily, it doesn't take too much in the, into timing, so... That's awesome. And here's an egg. Our first egg of the level. And it's Brian again. Okay. I mean, I guess it's okay to have a name repeat every once in a while. They did that in uh, Spyro 1. But they did that a lot later. But then again, there's a lot more dragon eggs. So I can understand. Here we go. Woo! Free gems. Free gems everywhere. Come here, you. Yeah! That's the only way to get rid of those guys, but whatever. Oh, God! <laughs> oh, this one's a little tricky, but not too difficult. <laughs> Alright, I, I mean, that snowball just came out of nowhere. Oh, my gosh. Luckily, it uh, doesn't do too much to you. Another gong! Great! I bet we could cause an avalanche with this one. Alright, I, I can't wait to see it. Here we go! Woo! Oh, God. Oh boy, is that going to get that seal? Nope, not lucky enough. Okay, so there's still quite a bit to go through. I, I can't believe I hit square. I'm so used to charging. Oh my god. Oh, I knew he was coming. There. No big deal. Oh! Yeah, you, you ain't got nothing. To Mother of God! Did they not think this one through? Damn. Snowballs! Yuck, yuck, yuck. I try not to be perverted, but I couldn't help myself there. I just couldn't. Um, do I really? Do I have to fall down? Yeah, I do. Hey, Sparks, uh, dang it. Whatever. So, this is the one thing about Bentley that sucks. He is super slow. But, come to think of it, a part of me wants to say that this is really his only level where he's like out and about like this a stinking rhinoc has blocked the way with this box it shouldn't be any problem for you to push it out of the way though okay bartholomew now you want to push it farther than you would think because if you knock it off the edge you get a skill point yeah let's get this egg here charlie don't bite my finger now. That was beautiful. Hey, Brainiac, you're supposed to be smart. 
Why don't you try pushing those blocks around to bridge that gap? Okay, I'll do that. It's a really easy fix. Just, I believe this one actually, they actually lock into place. But even then, ugh, I don't know. There we go. Ugh, ugh, incredible Hulk in the Yeti form. This is the primitive version of the Incredible Hulk. Or, would that be the word? You know? I guess. Um, here we go. Get some more. Oh, God. You came out of nowhere. Ha! <laughs> Alright. My God. This music, though. I'm normally... If this track were to play on the radio or something, like, a similar style, I guess I'm trying to say. Normally, I probably wouldn't like it, but this is, like, really catchy. You know, I really have to credit Stuart Copeland for this. Well, for this whole soundtrack. For the whole first first three Spyro games, I want to say. Like, a part of me thinks he might have done Enter the Dragonfly as well, but I'm not certain on that. I know he did the first three, but, uh, whatever. Plenty of gems to go around. That's really all I care about. This level really isn't that bad, because we're almost done. Yay. I think we actually have about... 80 gems left to collect, maybe? Each level has 500 gems, um, so that's something to note. Ugh! Oh my god, this is the one, again, I hate Bentley's jumping. That's the one thing I dislike the most about Bentley. This is jumping. But, let's just collect the rest of the gems in here. He'll present us with an egg once I collect all these. Well, I could get it right now, but I don't feel like it. And there's another one over here. Thanks, bro. Here's a little something for your rock collection. This ain't a rock. It's an egg. My God. I'm trying to imitate his voice, but I, I, I can't because I'm not really sure how it is to begin with. I assume that was pretty close, but I highly doubt it. And that should do it. Oh, this level has 600 gems. That's right. I think it's, I think the last area had 500 gems a level, but now it's up to 600. That's awesome, though. You know what I'm saying? So, there's the first level done. Now, we could, now, again, it's freaking Sunrise Spring music. So, there's actually a lot of levels, well, okay, there's still the four levels I gotta go to, but I like them all very equally. So, it's going to be kind of hard for me to decide where I go, but actually not really, because we have to go back to Midday Garden and do uh, the Sparks level and finish Bamboo Terrace. Is that what it's called? Bamboo Terrace? I think so. Uh, so, I'll be doing that in the next episode, though. So, uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.